Hey guys, so my question to you is how often are you checking your polls? And I'm being deadly serious, okay? That's a completely serious question. How often are you checking your polls? Particularly if you always, if you have a poll room and your poll's always up or wherever it is, if your poll is always up and you don't have to take it down, how often are you checking it? Um, because this is really important for your safety, guys. So I wanted to go through what I do to check my poll before I go on. My poll goes up and down all the time, so I know every time I put it up, I do a whole check anyway. But any time you go on a poll, so even if you, even if it's the next day or even in a few hours, you know, after training using it, you need to be checking your poll. So. I firstly just make sure I visually look at my poll and make sure it looks okay. I always make sure I look up. Now, if you've got a dome, okay, because domes can shift if everything loosens, and if you don't check it, they can shift. So when I have my dome, I used to draw a circle around the dome just with a pencil, okay, because then you can rub it off later. Just rub, uh, pencil it around the dome so that if I look up and I could see that I could see a pencil mark or I can see if the dome had shifted, okay, so it was visually easy for me to see why right, I need to sort my pole out. Another thing I always do as well, I've got my pole up, is I give it a good shake. Is it going anywhere? Okay, so start with that first because if it, something's wrong, it's gonna go if you give it a really good shake, okay? Another thing that I look at is just to make sure that none of the uh, grub screws have loosened or come out. And if they have, obviously this is where we tighten them up. Okay, um, other things as well, if you find that um, you've got your pole and the middle part, so where your joints, is quite wobbly, but it's not coming down, take it down, okay? Don't do anything, take it down. It's probably because here has loosened, okay? So the joint in the middle, so we just need to, for me, I just wanna make sure that you take it apart, make sure everything's okay, that nothing's cracked inside, then put it together and tighten it up, rather than just tighten it up, okay? So you could just tighten it up, but I would wanna know that the pole is okay. So just take it down, it doesn't take five minutes, literally unscrew it, Take it down, take it apart, undo these. If it's all good, put it together, and then you you know it's all safe inside. Does that make sense? That's what I would do. Um, quite often as well, sometimes I've put the pole up and I've gone to do something, and I haven't actually put my grub screws in. So that's why I just so let's make sure the grub screws are in, and then just go and get your Allen key. I mean, some of you might not have your Allen key around because you might have the locking key that will make the pole make your pole from static to spin, but always have it around, okay, because this is what's tightening your pole up. So then you can just put your key in and just make sure it hasn't loosened, so you can just make sure it's nice and tight. I'm not putting much pressure on it, I'm just making sure that it's no longer loose and we're good to go. Does that make sense? I mean, that is as quick as it can be, guys, just to make sure that your pole is okay and good to go before you even use it. And make sure you do that every time. Um, because if there is any movement in there, it's gonna come down at some point, guys. So make sure you do it every time you train, okay? And what I would probably make sure you do is just take your pole down once a month, a minimum of once a month. Uh, just take it all apart. Again, it doesn't take two minutes, guys. Just take it apart, all good. Yeah, put it back together, put it back up, okay? It's really important that you know how your pole works and how what goes together so that if anything doesn't look right, you know right away. Does that make sense? Hopefully this helps because, you know, you can say hi. All right. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.